<laughs> what happens when news crews are assigned to do a story on sumo wrestling? Well, let's start at the beginning. At Iron Life, a small gym in Orlando, people are practicing the ancient Japanese sport of sumo wrestling. That's right, it's become a thing in the U.S. It's just really the collision of, of, of human beings having a good time. So, like, for me, it was, it was I got to wrestle again. So what are the rules? Well, pretty basic. Whoever gets pushed, thrown, or steps one pinky out of the ring or touches the mat with any part of their body other than their feet loses. It's a sport that takes skill, spirit, and strength. And sumo, these monster guys come and they <laughs> collide and it's over. It's like just fast and it just happens. They just love that whole concept. So since the U.S. National Championship is in Orlando, we got to meet the reigning women's U.S. champion. That's right, women sumo wrestle. What got you started? So I found a sumo event near us in Long Beach, the U.S. Sumo Open, and we went and checked it out and we fell in love. So TV people being TV people somehow thought it would be a good idea to take on trained sumo wrestlers. I went face to face with the national champion. Here's as far as I got. <laughs> West Two Sports reporter Zach Maskovich was doing well until he got thrown out of the ring like a rag doll. But West 2 photojournalist Melissa Henderson was impressive. The national champion eventually took Melissa down, but she held her own. I felt it. I felt her strength. So what are my takeaways? Well, number one, sumo wrestling is not going to replace the NFL, but U.S. fans are embracing it heart and soul. Number two, that Zach's brave. And Melissa, four words. A star is born. Melissa, Melissa. In Orlando, Michelle Meredith and Melissa's new agent. <laughs> 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 <laughs>